<laughs> yeah, we were all up. Hello, everyone. Hi there. Hello, all you Pepper Hola. Adams fans Hola. out there. Okay. Talk about the tunes. Talk what it's like playing this music. The tunes are very hard. Yeah. Very challenging music. Yeah. Rhythmically, harmonically, trying to play some kind of a cohesive, logical solo. It's very challenging music to play. I agree. They're like, uh, they sound great, but they're they're almost like etudes or exercises in a way. Uh, and they all have a little twist. There's all each one of those tunes. His tunes has a really kind of a unique harmonic twist in it that's really unique to Pepper's writing. It's not like playing Satin Doll. You you get used to on so many so many tunes you play. You get used to going in a certain direction, and you you can't really. As soon as like as that. soon as you start to do that, it's the direction it, changes. Yeah, you're you're yeah. you're 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 dead. Yeah. You know, it's not predictable at all. Not at all. I was glad I'm not playing the melodies. <laughs> he was devilish one that Pepper Adams. Yeah, they're technically challenging pieces of music. Is it good that it's not predictable? Yeah, because it it's really is. It it really creates a spirit of improvisation because you can just really be in the moment. Yeah. You can't plan anything in advance. I mean, you really have to be in the moment all the time when you play his music. And it's very distinctive music. How so, George? <laughs> <laughs> it's distinctly difficult, <laughs> which we have just established. Yeah, I think we proved that it was difficult. I think it was Jerry and me's arrangements that were difficult. I was just living up to Pepper's <laughs> legacy. Don't make it easy on anyone. Write some hard stuff. Is that really what he actually? No, that's just about? what he did. <laughs> no, I'm just sensing. Uh huh. I took the degree of difficulty from the tunes themselves. Uh huh. And made it that much harder. Yeah, you know, well, you don't want Ramped an easy up. intro on a hard tune. That would be too Counter easy. Intuitive. I don't know. That would be uh, just plain <laughs> wrong. It would, yeah. Well, you did a good job of being right. Thank you, and I hope all you people out there in jazz land think so too. Yes. <laughs> Our audience. Audience. <laughs> Our audience. <laughs> That's the singular of audience, is audience. Well, I personally. That like is to, our audience. I would like to thank Gary Carner <laughs> for doing this. This is like the most incredible labor of love ever. Gary Carner. In the, in the world of music. It takes someone. You know, it was a relatively unknown figure in the public domain, but it was really a musician's musician. And recording the entire legacy of his music, man, that's, an, that's the most amazing labor of love I can ever yeah, think it's of. It's quite an undertaking. Absolutely. It really is. It's, uh, <laughs> Tissues? So, yeah, it's, it's getting I know you're. Work. I know you're hoping to get rich off of this. I see big The motivation, things. we see through the motivation. Yeah, I mean, you know. It's always thought This is a very... Despite your, the your, distinctive melodies. Your business acumen is really coming out on this. Are you going to buy the movie rights to the Pepper's <laughs> story, too? <laughs> Who's going to play him, though? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Denzel Washington? You're gonna <laughs> George Clooney? You think Clooney? you can get Denzel? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Johnny Depp. Johnny yeah. Depp? I've spoken of both. That would be good. Yeah. It would be a good uh, good property for Depp. I think Ben Kingsley would do a good job, actually. Right. Ben Kingsley yeah, would do a good job. Yeah. Absolutely. That's a good show. That would be a good choice. Yeah. You're going to be the coach, right, for the film? Oh, well, yeah, you're <laughs> the technical make a coach, coach. The musical consultant. Actually, on, an, on, an, on another note, when when Robert De Niro was filming New York, New York. So George Yauld, wasn't he? He was supposed to be George Yauld, but he came down to the Vanguard and hung with all the saxophone players in the Thad Mel's band trying to figure out how to hold a saxophone. <laughs> oh, wow. Figure, I mean, he came down and hung at the Vanguard for a whole night. Wow. De Niro did when he was playing his role in uh, New York, New York. That's just, you know, how do you hold this boy. thing? How do you look when you play it? You know, it was just, that was really incredible. Getting buy, back to Pepper. Buy everybody drinks. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah we're that? talking about Pepper. Pepper. Yeah. Right, right. Pepper. Oh, okay, yeah. Jerry, him. You, you arranged half the oeuvre. Half the book. I did. You've done two of these four days. Yeah. Any thoughts on block of music, the first chunk versus the second chunk? Well, um, first thing that comes to mind is that I probably should have charged you extra for extra for those <laughs> arrangements, but you know, <laughs> it's also a labor of love for me. So, um, well, it was different. Um, the first session was just piano, bass, and drums. And in this one, we added the saxophone, obviously. So I think I did a little bit less writing 
on this one because I felt that with the extra voice there was just that much more activity and maybe we didn't need we already had a, all the all the writing although it was complicated enough I threw yeah, some I stupid enough it. stuff in there to make it you know put my own footprint on it but uh, it was a lot of a lot of fun messing around with these tunes I tried not to really undo too many of them I wanted to keep them in the spirit in which Pepper originally intended them Maybe just the one. What was the one from the first session that I turned into like a McCoy kind of thing? Oh. Dr. Deep. Dr. Deep. Yeah. You said you had artistic constipation. I said that? You did. In your liner notes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sounds painful. What does that feel like? Well. <laughs> so you reharmonized the whole tune. But that was the first, that was the only one you did. I did get my BM from New England Conservatory. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> Bachelors of Music. Yeah, it's neither here nor there. Yeah, got me a lot of gigs. Who did you study with? Jackie Byer. Wow. I played BM. in his big band too. You played in the Carlos Stompers. Speaking of constipation, yeah. BM. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. But it was a lot of fun to have at these tunes.